Welcome back to Hermitcraft 3 Amplified. Alright, uh, as you recall recently I was having some fun with enchanting. And I came up with this pick. Efficiency 5, Unbreaking 2. That is too expensive to repair right from the get-go. All right, that's fine. I went ahead and I used that pick, as you can see, and I used that thing. I extended my mine shaft down there another, well, something like about 100 blocks total now, 110, I think. And that pick has mined out 10 branches today, earlier. So I got my use out of it, or at least a reasonable amount of use out of it, and uh, come up with a reasonable number of diamonds. I'm up to 49 diamonds. So... That, that's decent. And uh, let's see, this pick is a efficiency for when breaking three silk touch that I had before. And this one I made earlier today, once I had reached 30 levels of experience from mining. Started out with zero, and I mined for 30 levels of XP. Not bad. Very productive. And so I popped this thing in, made a new pick popped it in the Frobaz Electric Enchanting Station and I came up with Unbreaking 3 Efficiency 4. Combined it with an Efficiency 4 book in the anvil and this one I can actually repair. So that's something. Plus it's Efficiency 5 Unbreaking 3 which means it should last a long time all by itself. And so I've been getting ready to do something here. I'm tired of this little uh, El Cheapo ghetto station thing. I'm going to build a real station. And then when this one is done, I need another one on the other end. And this, I think I'm going, it, this is going to kind of be diorite station because that's what I'm going to build it from. I just wish the diorite was also available in slab. Why it isn't strikes me as real oversight. It should, uh, it should be available in slabs and stairs and everything else. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the track come in here and then uh, we'll have an arrival system over here, a departure over here, and then back there, a uh, fairly, from from my point of view, standard minecart launcher. So I'm going to go ahead and oh, get myself in gear here. Uh, let's see. need one of those. Okay, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get started on this. And I'm going to check in when I've got some progress and something of a station. Oh, by the way, this was a particularly good find. I saw a diamond in the ceiling up here. I brought it up an extra block. And I followed that, and there were eight of them up there. <laughs> Too cool. All right. I'm going to get started uh, putting this thing together, and I'll check it in a bit. Alrighty. Been a little while, and I have completed pretty much the whole station here. But the track comes in here and goes out. And in here, we have your departure area. Cart will be parked there. Hit the button that fires the powered rail, sends the cart this way goes over a detector rail which activates this redstone and trips this circuit here which when this torch goes off because there's a redstone signal here that torch will go off that one will go on and this trap door will close and open real fast allowing one cart to fall through hit the powered rail there and go up there it hits that uh, glass stopper block and falls straight down there onto the powered rail for departures. Incoming track 
Now outgoing goes like this right straight through here and out there. Incoming comes in through here, curves through here and goes over there. Up this little ramp, hits the wall, falls down on that powered rail which is deactivated. And when you step out of the cart, activates the rail, sends it back there onto the loader. So, let's see. I need to get just a little bit of diorite. I forgot about that. That was ridiculous. There we go. I forgot. As I was getting ready to record, I forgot that I'd left this stuff open so I could show it. But There we go. Go ahead and close that up. And I can't close that because of the redstone. All right. Now, let's load a few carts into this thing. Oh, boy. Design flaw. Yeah. It needs to run into a block there. My only regret is that I wish I had checked that before trying it on camera. Alright. Goes up there, hits the reel, goes down in there and loads up. Let's put another one in there. And I should be able to load a third one. Alright. Now, all I need is one more cart to put down on the departure. I should probably put a... I was thinking maybe I'll put a trap door and a uh, pressure plate on the outside of that, but I don't know. Alright, I'm going to break that one temporarily because I don't want it going anywhere, actually. Hit the button, goes over there, and where is my... Alright, let's try this again. Pop that there, hit the button, cart goes away. Oh, come on. Oh, you mean to tell me this thing doesn't work anymore? Oh, that's ridiculous. Doesn't quite seem right. All right. Hit the button. Cart goes over there, activates the power. All right. Detector rail is activating. The redstone is not broken. I have one of these, and I have several of these in my single-player world. I know this sucker works. All right, I'm going to look into what's going on here, and I'll be back. I need to check on something. All right, here we are. This is uh, the, the main station in my single-player world, and I just thought I'd load, it, load this up and check on this. This here is the redstone line that comes from the detector rail 
comes up here and it goes into that block. When it powers that block, this torch goes off. Another torch on the front of that block, which is currently hidden by the minecart, will activate a split second later, causing this door to open and then close, or, well, close and then open real quick. And uh, drop a cart onto this powered rail. This button launches the cart, it goes across the detector rail, sends the signal back there. It's the same setup. It's a little bit bigger, but it's the same setup. So if I hit this button here to launch, you see that. It drops one cart onto the powered rail, heads up here, and comes out. All right, let's do it again. Just fire this. Oh, wait a minute. I picked up the wrong cart. That was dumb. All right. Launch the cart. And it launches a new one. Every single time. And uh, this has worked for a lo very long time. Because I built this station back in... Uh, I believe it was beta 1.6. And it has worked ever since then. And uh, just loaded this up to look at it. To confirm that what I had built on Hermitcraft was the same thing and it is so I'm gonna go back there and do some more troubleshooting all right here we are back on hermitcraft and it looks to me like everything is right as we look over here we've got a powered rail a flat section down there because that's important flat section up against a solid block I have a lever powering it signal here from the detector rail comes through here points into this block that's important so that it will actually power that block which power which will cause this torch to unpower which will power that block or unpower that block and then power that torch and uh, the reaction is that that door will close and then open real quick just like you saw on my single player world just a minute ago so let's load some carts in here And we'll put this one on the departure track. And we'll hit the button. Cart goes over the power, over the desk, the detector rail. The circuit lights up, as we saw it did. And nothing happens here. What is going on? This is built the same freaking way. It literally is the same machine. The same design. I've used this thing for quite a while. I've built a number of these stations, and this is the first time it's ever not worked. All right, let's watch the redstone. Oh, I didn't want to get in a doggone cart. Come on. Ugh. All right. I will push the cart across. We'll just set the cart on the doggone detector. How about that? Cart is on the detector. Redstone lights up. Signal comes up here, points into this block. Wait a minute. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12. That block is the 13th block. It should have plenty of signal for that. Redstone goes like 15 blocks. Oh. Alright. I think I've got a repeater over here. Oh boy. I am in experience uh, some lag all right 
I'm going to break that right there, drop a repeater, and now it will have a much stronger signal going in there. Let's see if that makes any difference. No, it does not. How about when we break the cart? Okay, this is bloody peculiar. This is the exact same circuit that works in single player. that out so I can see what's going on when I hit the switch. Oh, for crying out loud, don't tell me we got lag issues too. All right. I wasn't aiming at the cart you dip switch. The door flips, but it doesn't seem to want to... What the heck? All right. This is totally wrong. This is not supposed to not work like this. door flips and this is built exactly the way the other one does is oh man I really wanted this thing to work and I don't understand why it doesn't I am gonna have to consult with somebody to find out just what tarnation is going on here okay I've done some checking and consulted a little bit, checked with Hypno and see what he knew about it. And The best that can be determined is that there is some kind of an issue with the timing with this being on a server instead of a single player. So that's the best I can guess about why it's not working. So I'm going to try doing something different here. And instead of using that launcher, which, frankly, I prefer to use. All right, let's see. Got a dispenser. Drop that down here. Toss a powered rail on it. Oh, shift click. Yeah. All right. I'm going to need to break that button and replace it with a stone one. Because the wooden button stays active for just a little bit longer than a stone button. All right. It's basically that only needs to be active long enough to send the departing cart on its way. Peters. Put them both on max delay. Let's see. I'm kind of inventing this as I go. Oh, you sorry, SOB. should work. Yeah. All right. That goes up there. Signal here will trip the dispenser. 
to have it dispense a fresh cart. So let's go ahead and get the carts. It's very annoying that this thing doesn't work. I've been using this design for a long time and it's always worked. Alright. I've got one to st set on here. Break those for the time being because we don't need it to go all the way. Oh, that's not going to work at all. Oh. It dispensed all of them. What in tarnation is that all about? All right. Okay, let's try it with a pressure plate. Pressure plate seems to be the way that that tar type of thing is usually activated. All right. So we load load some carts in there. And that's unacceptable too. What in the world have they done to minecart systems? It only dispensed one this time, but it took off right away. Of course, the pressure plate is also activating the launch rail. So that means the pressure plate needs to be somewhere where it won't do that. So we've got a pressure plate there. And I don't see an easy way to take the signal down and merge it with this one. Oh, man. But it still took off right away. Yeah, that's not going to work. Bring this signal down a bit. Okay, leave some light in there.
Okay, now it's not activating the cart. Let's see if it will dispense one. Just one. Without activating the rail. Ah. Uh, but it's playing funky games with the door. send it on before you even have a chance to get in it. What in tar... Nah, this is not going to work. This is not going to work. wondering if that block no the red the redstone signal powers the dispenser and then that block is powered which powers the rail unacceptable all right let's put the dispenser here Throw the carts in it. Oh, well. That's unacceptable as well. All right. Will it put a cart? Okay, it will if there's a rail right there. Alright, that's a step in the right direction. Alright. Load the carts. Step on the plate, it dispenses one. All right, that's good. Okay, now... The detector rail... Okay, put the carts back in here. And I went and left the stone button in the other room. Me and doors don't seem to get along today. Alright. There's the launcher button. Let's take the signal from here. And add that in like so. So that now either one of these can fire that. I'm not sure if that's a great idea. We'll see. All right. If there's no cart on the thing, stand on here and launch this one. Switch to the cart, hit the launch button, and it sends you on the way, but it does not fire the dispenser again. All 
Oh, missing bit of redstone. All right, let's try it again. All right, no cart. Step on the pressure plate to get one. New cart provided. All right, that's what I wanted. New cart provided after you launch. And uh, if there's if there's one there, you don't have to do that. All right, that's a step in the right direction. Now, let's see. I need to take this down. And... I'm going to run it up a little bit. And let's see. I need some dirt or something to put cactus on. That's a good place to throw a torch. Throw a piece of cactus down here. Oh. It's not gonna, huh? Oh, man. I can't seem to click properly for anything today. Since when does cactus... Oh. Cactus needs sand, doesn't it? That figures. It's reeds that will go on dirt or sand. Uh, hello, I just clicked on you. Open. Oh, no. And I don't have any sand here. All right, I'm going to get some sand. And I'll go ahead and get this thing put together, and then we'll try it and see if it will function correctly. All right, I think I can make this go now. Get rid of that, get rid of that. Throw a solid block down there, some sand. Bit of cactus. Let's pop another block above it so it won't grow. And then here, that needs to come out. We need to run a chain of hoppers. Ah, i got to make more hoppers. But the idea is a hopper here with cart on it, and the cart com comes up there, onto there. Cactus breaks the cart. It goes into the hopper, and then through this hopper pipe into the dispenser. All right, got some more hoppers. Okay. So we have that. And that, and one there. And now, let's get our track. Shift click that on. That should take care of it. And some solid blocks. Well, I can't put one there. Let's see, I've got one extra hopper. Okay, fine. One more hopper right there in case the cart flies too far. And then 
I'll just surround it. There. Now if the cart flies, it'll go land in one of those. In either case, it will end up here in the dispenser. What is going on now? Oh. Alright, we've got two carts in the dispenser. How did I... I don't want to know. All right, I must have stepped on the pressure plate. Okay. All right, let's test the arrival. Throw a cart down here. Goes up there. And arrives back in the dispenser. All right, that much is good. And the launch system appears to work. Although, there is some lag issues present. But that shouldn't change anything. Okay, I can take that down. Pick up the rail. All right. So we have our slightly modernized or modified version of the station. Excellent. New cart is dis is dispensed right away and then when arriving let's just do an arrival. I'm in. Oh. Oh, boy. Little things that make you nuts. You know? That's just all it is. Little things that make you nuts. All right. Let's do this arrival. Arriving. Over here. Up the ramp. Get out, step on the pressure plate, cart goes up there, destroyed, in through the hopper pipe. And then I came out the door and stepped on the pressure plate and dispensed a second cart on top of the other one. All right, and then arrival. Okay, step on that. Good. Don't step on that. And then hit this, go like so. Bang. All right, it's finally working. All right, so the station is working. All I need to do now is build another one out at the other end of this track, and that one is going to have two departures, which means there'll need to be some switching thrown into that, too. And we'll get to that next time. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. How about it?